The irresistible force is on Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from San Diego, California, Naya Jax. Hey, whenever Nia Jax enters an arena, whenever Nia Jax enters a match, everyone takes notice of the dominance that this woman is capable of. She's beautiful, she's powerful, she's dangerous. It's like a million dollar smile on a wrecking ball. Nia Jax is the irresistible force to be reckoned with. Women's division, I hope you're ready for a fight. That Tamina is a scary woman. That is a scary human being. No nonsense, no gimmicks, no flips, just fists. Two men who proudly carry collective chips on their shoulders and they've managed to use that, that bitterness to bring themselves to the big stage where it's their time to shine. Rough and tough as they come. Old school throwbacks. And here we go, folks, Ouch. as we get this tag team match started. When I think of tag teams that can make a major impact on today's WWE, I absolutely think of these two teams. Oh, nasty flipping senton. Beautiful senton. Nia Jax did not waste any time in becoming a dominant force in NXT. After cryptic vignettes declared that Nia wasn't like most girls, she proved it by laying waste to NXT's best en route to women's championship contendership. Harsh impact. Going back to Nia Jax's NXT day, she really displayed her dominance on her rise to the top, dispatching performers like Liv Morgan and Carmella without much trouble. Well, having been there for Nia's early days, I can tell you she was milliseconds away from beating the likes of Bayley and Asuka for the NXT Women's Championship. Nia had takeover battles well in hand with both women, but lost due to rookie miscues. And now that she's got more experience, she's earning main event matches and winning titles. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner.
I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish-born superstar. Naomi did an excellent job of making sure any quote-unquote committee nonsense cost her girls a match. Once Becky Lynch got Carmella locked in the disarmor, there was nothing for the Staten Island Princess to do but to tap out. And it didn't take long for that to happen. Looks like Tamina's starting to slip a bit. Nothing she can't fire back from, though. I really like the resolve we've seen from her in this tag team match, guys. Though, Ooh. I wouldn't be against the tag here. You know, just so she can gather herself a bit. Yeah, but I feel pretty confident in saying that she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. What a stomp! Good grief! Nia Jackson off the tag. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Beautiful technique. Her corner's calling for the tag. Yeah, she wants back in this thing, Cole. And no luck against Nia Jax there. Nia Jax able to avoid damage there. Whip. And there's the tag. Tamina into the ring. Now it. She is on fire. It's got Dawson on the defensive now. Over the last few years, the tag team scene in WWE is hotter than it's ever been. One of the teams that has shined brighter than any other is the New Day. Xavier Woods, Big E, and Kofi Kingston are two-time tag team champions. But it was their second reign that put the New Day name in WWE history books forever. Scott Dawson makes a cover. She's looking to get out of here with a win early. Way too early. The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the Attitude Era. Everywhere you look, there's another tremendous tag team combination. Looking to make a run at the WWE Tag Team Gold. When we talk about the New Day, the team won a fatal four-way match in their second tag team title reign at 2015's SummerSlam. I may think the power of positivity stinks like a bag of rotting garbage, and that Woods, Kingston, and Big E are idiots, but I'll give the New Day this. They're one of the greatest tag teams ever, and what put them in that category was when their tag team championship reign lasted a record setting 483 days. Dash Wilder tags in. Buster. Oh, what impact. She's out of it, guys. Yeah, she's leaving herself wide open here. And tagged in is Scott Dawson. Yeah. What a stop. Good grief. Nia Jax is really starting to fade now. At this point, she really needs to think about making a tag to her partner. She's boom. Dawson takes out the knee. Uh-oh. Oh, man, 
right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. I think she's trying to prove a point here. against the irresistible force. Yeah, but we're talking about Ronda Rousey, Bailey, and Asuka here. Three of the most skilled competitors in WWE history. Getting close enough to Nia to even clinch in a submission is a tall feat, since Jax will likely destroy you the moment you're within arm's reach. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double-team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Hart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs that. What are they going to do here? Closing moments, maybe this matchup. Ooh, nasty impact. Going for the big one. Will she win it here? Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that could be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly a... Ah, uh, fireman's carry. Backbreaker. Corey, that looked familiar. Can she end it here? Too close for comfort. Dangerous. Ooh, what impact. That's with the code breaker. She goes for the cover. Now that's an impressive tag team victory. Whenever tag team is on the docket, the mayhem multiplies. Here's the proof. Check this out. Remember this? Look at her go. And if you don't enjoy watching her perform, there's something seriously wrong with you. Dash Wilder leading the team to victory. Wow, when you pick up a pinfall victory over somebody like that, you've done something right. And that's the kind of action we've come to expect here on Raw. What an amazing match.